What's going on people of the internet? I'm the Two Wheel Teacher and today I'm going to be breaking down and discussing the total cost of ownership for having owned and ridden my 2013 Harley Davidson Street Glide for an entire year. Here we go. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. When my channel hits 250 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $100 Harley Davidson gift card and only my subscribers will have a chance to be entered to win that. So make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share so that others have a chance of winning this $100 Harley Davidson gift card as well. So August 12, 2020 marks one year of having owned and ridden my 2013 Harley Davidson Street Glide. That is the date last year that I traded in my 2007 Harley Davidson Dyna Super Glide for my current motorcycle and it has been one hell of a year of riding one of Harley Davidson's best selling touring bikes. And I've done my homework and I have an answer for you if you were wondering how much does it really cost to buy and own and ride a motorcycle, specifically a Harley Davidson, for a year. So before I jump into the hard and fast numbers, let's recap what I've actually been able to do on my bike since I bought it a year ago. So, so here's what I've done. And I think the context here is really important because just looking at the raw numbers, it can be hard to actually gauge how much value did, did I get out of all that money I spent. So here's what I did um, to kind of give us the whole story behind owning and riding my bike for the, for the full year. So the very first thing I did with my Street Glide is I had to ride it from Jackson, Minnesota back down to Tallahassee because we were moving from Southern Minnesota for the summer back down to Tallahassee so we could go back to school and blah, 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 blah. Originally, we had purchased a trailer so that we could get the Dyna from Minnesota back down to Tallahassee, but after buying the Street Glide, we figured out it wouldn't fit on the trailer we bought, so my only option was to bring the bike down by riding it. So the very first thing I did was I rode 1,200 some miles from Jackson, Minnesota to Tallahassee, Florida. Now, throughout the year that I've owned it, my now wife and I have made two trips to St. George Island. We rode from Tallahassee to Mobile, Alabama and back. I rode from Tallahassee down to Port Charlotte, Florida, down to Miami, Florida, back up to Tallahassee. And I rode it from Tallahassee up to the Midwest in June and then back to Tallahassee. And you can check out the video about the ride up as well as my Saddle Sore 1000 back down from uh, Waterloo, Iowa to Dothan, Alabama here. Um, and those are just some of the longer rides that I did. This does not include numerous rides with my local hog chapter, the other rides that have just been thrown together online or just been picked up, etc. Now, all told, in 12 months of owning my Street Glide, I have ridden a grand total of 13,285 miles, which feels like a pretty impressive number of miles considering uh, that for a lot of riders, depending on where they're at in, in the country geographically, they may only get six to nine months of decent riding weather afforded to them every year. Being in Florida, North Florida, but being in Florida, I have managed almost two full years of 12 months of solid riding weather. Um, December, January, and February do get pretty chilly here, but you have the right gear to keep yourself warm and you pretty much get 12 months of solid, really nice riding weather. So that's everything that I've been able to do on the bike for the most part. It's a good outline of, of the use I've gotten out of the motorcycle. So now let's talk about the hard and fast numbers. All right, so here we go. Um, in this break down, I'm not gonna be giving you the numbers that weren't absolutely necessary for riding a bike uh, because you know I spent money on parts that I just wanted to buy. They weren't necessary for operation. Um, you obviously don't need to buy t-shirts to ride a Harley. You may think that you do. Um, but you don't have to and you don't need to have bought chaps and a jacket to own and operate a Harley. So I'm just going to be going over the costs um, that I have incurred by just owning it and wanting to keep it functional and safe. So to start off, uh, the total purchase price for my bike was $13,735. Um, that was after trade, that was after taxes and title ABC. I put down $2,000 at the time of purchase and then I financed the rest through Harley Davidson Financial Services. So in 12 months, I've made $2,376 in payments on the bike itself. Insurance for one month has run me $68, meaning in 12 months of insurance, I have paid $816 to insure the bike itself. Um, registration has run me a total of $77.96. And after an hour of scouring my checking account and credit card histories, 
I have come to find that I have spent a whopping total of $1,236.80 on gasoline for my motorcycle. Um, I did some other fun calculations like uh, I figured out that my average fill up cost was $12.98, which is pretty good, and I averaged 9.4 days between fill ups. And so those are the basic numbers and costs for owning my motorcycle, but that doesn't really tell us the entire story. It doesn't include maintenance and repair costs. And if you have ever taken your bike uh, to a Harley Davidson dealership for maintenance and repairs, you already know what's coming. So this is, this is the less fun part. All right, here we go. Here are those costs. My tires, I had them changed about three months ago, and that cost me $540, and those were the Michelin Commander 3s, if you're interested in knowing uh, what I replaced the factory Dunlops with. They weren't, the, they weren't from the factory tires, but the previous owner just kept putting on the same, you know, made for Harley Dunlop tires. Um, and I absolutely love the Commander 3s. Like, I'm not gonna go to anything else, I'm gonna continue to purchase Commander 3s because they're fantastic tires. I've ridden in the wet, I've ridden in the hot, I've ridden on great high quality asphalt, I've ridden through Birmingham, Alabama, which if you haven't ridden through Birmingham, Alabama, don't bother, the roads are atrocious. But these tires are fantastic. Um, in the last year that I've owned it, I have had three oil changes done to it, two of which were done at a Harley shop, one of which I did myself in the garage, and you can check out the video of that adventure here. Uh, it really was an adventure. It's it's something. Um, so the two oil changes that I paid for at the Harley shop cost $596 altogether and the cost for the kit to do the oil change myself at home was $110. Uh, then I had to have my radio replaced which ran me $300 for the radio head unit itself and then $212 for a wiring fix and that cost also includes um, the cost of replacing the clutch sensor which I just had all done at once. Um, I replaced the handlebars back in January and that required having a new clutch cable um, installed and so when I had all that done um, the total cost for adjustment insulation was $298. Then I replaced my brakes that was about a month ago and the total for two sets of brakes ran me about $81. I did the brake replacement myself at home I don't have a video of that that was pre-YouTube um, but the install itself is really simple and I saved myself probably two hours worth of labor just for having done the brakes all on my own. All told, for one year's ownership and 13,285 miles of riding, I have spent $8,643.76. Now, on its own, that is definitely a lot of money, no doubt. That is not a small amount of money for, for anybody. Um, I've never done a cost of ownership on any of the cars that I've ever owned, but I, I have to imagine that 12 months worth of gas payments and insurance for a vehicle is probably going to run depending on if you change your tires that year it's not going to be too far afield away from what i pay for to to keep my harley up and running and doing so safely um, another way to look at it is uh, if you take the amount of money i paid and the number of miles that i rode and do the math on that i spent 65 dollars excuse me i spent 65 cents per mile to ride my bike and honestly that works for me I'm pretty happy to be able to do that um, I ride my bike six and a half days a week it rains a lot here in Tallahassee but in usually it doesn't rain all day it only rains you know like it rained half an hour ago here but it rained for less than 10 minutes and yeah now it's full-blown sunshine again so I get to ride my bike everywhere um, it's my primary vehicle. It's not, you know, a lot of guys, they, you know, a lot of people that ride their motorcycle is their second vehicle. They've got their truck, they've got a car, they've got, you know, their, their, you know, their kid carrier. And then they've got their motorcycle for the weekends or for the summer or for when the weather is good, what have you. Um, but my bike is my primary vehicle. So when you consider that I'm not paying insurance and payments and repair and maintenance for another vehicle, it's just me and my bike, that number feels a little more comfortable just because it's the only bike that I've got it's the only vehicle that I get to ride um, and so that feels that feels justified in my opinion but uh, there you go those are the numbers for me personally I'm sure your cost of ownership may be similar it may be different maybe more maybe less um, if you want to let me know any good ideas for keeping this year's cost of ownership down aside from just riding a different bike don't come at me and tell me to buy a Honda I'm not gonna buy a Honda stop telling me to buy a Honda I don't want to buy a Honda 
But if you have good ideas for keeping my cost of ownership down for this year, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. It's a chance to win a $100 Harley Davidson gift card. Why wouldn't you want that? Hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Two Wheel Teacher, and I'm going to see you on the road.